Okay, so you're an ex Windows Phone user or looking to be an ex Windows Phone user and looking to switch to Android. Today I'll tell you the three phones I use and why. Stay tuned. Okay, in no particular order, Razer phone. So why do I like this device? Well, there's a lot of good things with the Razer phone. First of all, it has that 120 hertz display, one of the few on the market that does that. And it's hard to see in video, but once you see it in real life, it's absolutely fantastic. It's very fast, twice the frame rate of most phones, and just looks fantastic. It also has very powerful speakers, easily the best speakers of any smartphone on the market. They're front firing, and they just sound excellent. And finally, there's the battery. It's got a massive one in there that'll last you days, and it's just one of the best on the market right now. Now, not everything is great with the Razer phone. First of all, it's absolutely huge, especially if you're like me and you put a case on it. There's also the fact that it doesn't have a three and a half millimeter headphone jack, so you need to use the included dongle, which is a very good one, I have to admit, but still not everybody likes that. I also have a problem using this at the gym as it's just a little too large. But this phone is really geared towards those who watch media on their phones a lot, or of course, play video games. Now, I should also mention the Razer camera. Now, when reviews came out for this device, it was critically panned. I will say Razer has put out a few software updates since then, and the camera has improved, and they're going to continue to improve it. The sensor itself is actually very good. It's the software that needs tweaking. Now, you could put on the Pixel Google camera, and that helps a lot, too. I feel like the camera is improving. It's not an awful camera. I want to make this clear. If you've been using Windows Phone for the last few years, this is actually probably a step up. It's faster. It just has better quality. Overall, well, it's not a great camera, but it's not as bad as people say. It's definitely improved a lot. Razer recently announced a partnership with Netflix and it gets Netflix HDR on here. And I saw this at CES playing for about 20 minutes and it looked really, really good. So if you're the kind of person who watches Netflix on their devices or Hulu or any other streaming service or even YouTube videos, or maybe Twitch or Mixer, this is going to be your device. It is hands down the best media experience you can get on any smartphone today. All right, next up, the OnePlus 5 or the 5T. They're basically the same phone. The 5T has a larger aspect ratio and gets rid of the bezels. I don't mind the bezels though. In fact, it allows you to use on the OnePlus hardware buttons or software buttons because of that choice. That's really the cool thing here with OnePlus is their Oxygen OS. It's one of the best versions of Android you can get. It's very fast and all the small changes that they do throughout the OS are really, really nice tweaks. Now, there's a few reasons I really like this device. First of all, it's low cost. It's not very expensive, yet you're getting a very premium build. You also get a ringer switch that has three stages to it, and that's kind of rare to see. The overall build quality is absolutely fantastic. It's one of the best feeling devices I've seen. It's very thin. It just feels great with that glass front and the metal back. I should also mention the camera is really good, one of the best on the market. Now it's not as good as the Pixel 2, but it's one of the ones that allowed me to switch to Android and not feel like I was losing much in terms of image quality. It also has a very good front facing camera if you're really into doing selfies. But overall, this is a really fun device. It has a very good display on it. It feels great to hold and use. Oxygen OS is really nice and OnePlus has been a very good company. Now I should point out that everything about OnePlus has been excellent. They've had that credit report issue where people's credit cards got stolen recently. There's also been some privacy concerns and not everybody loves dealing with a Chinese manufacturer. I'll leave that to you if you feel it's worth it, but I'm a big fan of this phone overall. It's one of my favorite. I've had a few friends switch over to it from Windows Phone and they've absolutely loved this device. So I got to recommend it as well. And finally, we have the Google Pixel 2 or the Pixel 2 XL if you want a larger display. I have the smaller one. This is a really good phone, although I find it very boring too. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. It's just not the most exciting design I've seen in any device, but the fundamentals are done very well here. It's got an excellent fingerprint reader on the back. The camera, I mean, this is really what this is about. The camera on here, is very, very good, folks. Now, I use a lot of Nokias in the past. I'm very much a shutterbug myself. I shoot with a Nikon D750 and use prime lenses often. So I'm very familiar with photography and the hype is real here. This is one of the best cameras you can get in the market. So if you're really into photography, you gotta get this device. I highly recommend it. Some of the other stuff like AR stickers, I find totally gimmicky, but whatever, it's nice to have. It's a great phone though, it gets great battery life. You're going to get a very pure Android experience and all the Google stuff on there. So, you know, it's not a bad device in that sense. You can hide all the Google stuff, but overall it's a solid phone and that's kind of really what you want. I also really like the size of this. If you're a Lumia 950 user, this thing is a spitting image for that phone. It's the exact same size and dimension. So if you're really accustomed to that, switching to this will actually be very easy. 
So to sort of bring this all together, I wanted to talk about some other points. Why did I not mention Samsung or LG here? Well, I actually have a G6, and I also have a Samsung Galaxy S6 and S7 Edge. So it's not that I'm not familiar with these phones, I just do not like their software optimizations. The LG G6 is fantastic hardware. It's an overrated camera in my opinion, but their software is a dog. It just slows down the phone and I find it really infuriating to use. I can't kind of recommend it. And the same thing with Samsung. Now for me, Samsung changed the game with the S6. I thought that was a fantastic phone. I had one of the best cameras I'd used at the time. And I was like, Samsung is now serious. That's only improved with the S8, which also has a very good camera, but I hate Samsung stuff, I'm sorry. Once they put that Bixby button on there, I was out. I just cannot deal with that. I also don't like all their S services on all their garbage on their phones. And I'm gonna say that, that's my personal opinion, sorry. Um, if you like their design, I think their hardware is unmatched, but I just don't like the software. And that brings me to these three phones. These are basically pure Android experiences. There's not a lot of bloat on these devices, not the Razer, not the OnePlus, and definitely not the Pixel 2. And if you're switching from Windows Phone, this is a really good chance for you to customize your OS the way you want, specifically if you want to use Microsoft Launcher. Or if you're a big fan of putting Microsoft services on your phone, you can do that a lot. The OnePlus even lets you set the Cortana button. So it basically feels like a Windows Phone Android combo. Now, if you're just absolutely done with Microsoft, that may not matter. I still like the performance of these devices though. They don't slow down, they don't stutter, they just run very well, and they let you do what you want with them, and that's kind of why I'm recommending them. All right, so those are the three recommendations I have if you're an ex-Windows phone user looking for a new device in 2018. Now, if you have a recommendation that I missed, leave me a comment below. Otherwise, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Take care, everybody. See? <laughs> I've been planning it in my head. That's it. You have to understand. I think about this for a week and it's in my head when I'm exercising and running. I'm just like rehearsing this. That's how I roll.